Okay, so the next one is running backs. I think we have time. Uh, well, we, uh, we're only, uh, yeah, we do have some time. We got Najee, yeah. Aaron Jones, and oh. Austin Eckler. <laughs> okay. Najee, um, Aaron Jones, Austin Eckler. This is a, I think this might be a spoiler for my, uh, <laughs> my top 100 coming out in five minutes. Um, hold on. So I guess it wouldn't be a spoiler at that point. Um, which is that, oh, never mind. No, it's not. That that one comes out in a couple of days. Uh, <laughs> I'm starting Najee. Uh, you were slamming Najee ha- the other day. You said that know, he's a I, no I vision I merchant and a I know I, and I know a fat I and fat. You call him fat. <laughs> I did say he was fat. I didn't say he was fat. Um, yeah, I've recently I've done some soul searching, and I've decided I was a little bit biased when it came to my Najee slander. Is it? Did the, uh, all the videos of the guys posting him stiff arming the hell out of that Browns linebacker get to you? <laughs> that shit. That shit hurt. I can't lie. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, because it was because it was better than the stiff arm that Nick Chubb did, right? That's because Nick Chubb stick arm resulted stiff arm resulted in I think three yards, and Najee's resulted in a first down. I think so. Um, <laughs> no, but I'm taking Najee. I think Najee has incredible strength and incredible, like, and underrated athleticism. Maybe not, he doesn't have quite a breakaway speed, but I think the way he can move his body, his quickness sometimes can be a little bit underrated. What he can do, you know, in the receiving game is really nice. I think then, for a similar reason, receiving quality, I might go Austin Eckler. Um, I don't want this to come off as Aaron Jones slander. I, but I think I would go Austin Eckler next. I do like I I think Austin Eckler's been underrated for a really long time. Um he's been he's been such an asset for the Chargers for I think three years now. Um like in, in terms of like receiving, in terms of running, um, his vision I think is actually quite nice. He can he has he's pretty explosive getting to the edge sometimes. And then I think I would go Aaron Jones. I and again, I don't hate Aaron Jones. I always feel bad when like I make a player the last one because I'm like, I don't hate, I don't hate this guy. I actually like, I like Aaron Jones. Someone's gonna I, be last. Like, yeah, it's like Aaron Jones gives me, I think, almost like discount Kareem Hunt vibes. If that makes discount? sense. Discount? Discount? I don't know, but now <laughs> you're starting to get into the slander territory when you're calling a discount. Uh, yeah, I guess you can't you can't call someone discount, but like very he's I think he's similar to Kareem Hunt with like like the the I think the quick or maybe maybe not maybe I'm trying to think about a guy that he he feels similar to. That's your guy Theo, so maybe you have a better read on him than I do. But I I, I feel like he's similar to Kareem Hunt, and just like as I've been watching Kareem Hunt as a Brown, that's kind of I feel like he's very Aaron Jonesy. I get it. I get it. Matt, how about you? Um, I'll probably go Aaron Jones at one, Eckler at two, Najee at three. Okay. Najee's kind of a little bit of projection. I don't know. It's tough to judge him with the offensive line that he ran behind a little bit. And That's the other that thing. was a weird offense he was in. He has like a really nice ceiling, obviously. Um, but we talked earlier a few episodes ago now uh, about how he just needs to be a little bit more physical. And if he comes out and he's more physical, I think he could easily be one. But I'll have him at three now, just off what he's playing. Maybe which, I am. Yeah. I don't no, know. I, I don't think it's a bad take to say that he is. I don't think it's a bad take either. Because, like... I bet that I mean, he has the best career out of these three. Yeah. <laughs> See, and, and the last one I put Parsons at two is a little bit of projection, so maybe I need to put Najee. That's not very consistent of me. But I, I might be projecting a little bit just because, like, for me, I, I when I was looking at Najee coming out of college, I was like, that's Derrick Henry through and through. I was like, he's like a more athletic Derrick Henry. This is like Derrick Henry if he was jumping over people and then proceeding to run for a touchdown after. Right? I mean, you did have a lot of broken tackles this year, Najee Harris. A lot of them. Yeah. That's true. Theo, okay. what are you doing? I'm going with Aaron Jones one. I think that he's the total package as a running back. He's got an imp- he's a little dude, but he he really does try uh, as as a as a pass blocker. 
Um, I think that he has great vision, phenomenal vision, and he always has since the day that he became a Packer several years ago and was losing carries to Jamal Williams. And he was someone that as time went on, you know, clearly was like immediately was not only the better running back, but truly deserved more carries as his vision got better. And he just like can squeeze through the tiniest gaps. He's a really good, you know, kind of one cut runner where he's running a lot of outside zone or zone in, in Green Bay. You know, find that hole, put his foot in the ground and go. The dude just does not get tackled for loss like ever. Uh, don't go. Fa- he's had zero in his career. Don't don't fact check me there. Um, <laughs> he's got legit home run speed, which I think Najee doesn't quite have. Doesn't Najee doesn't quite yeah. have the vision that Aaron Jones has. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking Aaron Jones one. A.J. Dillon is also quite nice, really nice. And A.J. Dillon actually had more carries than Aaron Jones last season. But I think I. I mean, I'd consider, I still consider Aaron Jones the better player than A.J. Dillon. I still do, uh, even though, even with the season that A.J. Dillon just had, maybe he'll prove me wrong next year. But Najee's also a good blocker, too. Yeah, he's a really good blocker, and that's why I'm taking him number two, right? Is like, as, as, even though I think Najee sometimes plays like he's an elusive back, even though he should be a power back, and he kind of dances a little bit behind the line of scrimmage, and it leads to inefficiencies, and Pittsburgh's rushing attack was not very efficient last year. I still think I'd rather have Najee just because of what he offers as a receiver, what he offers as a blocker. I think that he's a pretty talented pure runner as someone who can shed a lot of tackles. And then I think Eckler is the worst pure runner of the three. I don't think he's particularly special at it. Not a particularly special tackle breaker, not a particularly special pass blocker, not a particularly special in, in really anything when it comes to like running the football. I think he's a little yeah. bit of a fantasy football merchant. Obviously, he can do a lot of things pretty well. But I, I don't think like anything he does is totally irreplaceable. Um, you know, I, I, I just think he's the worst pure things. rusher. He's, I think he does a lot of things good. Yeah, I mean right. the, the coaching staff obviously loves him, gives a lot a lot of goal line opportunities, results in a lot of touchdowns. But overall, he impresses me the least as a, as a three down back and and as someone that's who can fair. really carry the load in an offense. So that's how I'm ranking that's him, fair. Jones. Harris cutting Eckler. I think fantasy football has kind of really, really, really enhanced Austin Eckler's like public perception when he's not a particularly like all timer as a running back, <laughs> even though his numbers might be really good. And they were, I think he like led the league in touchdowns last season. No, he's he 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 had a pretty good year last year, I won't even lie. 